Drop a like on the video if Tilted Towers is your favorite location ever. This is the evolution of everyone's favorite point of interest, Tilted Towers. Real quick, right now, comment down below your favorite version of Tilted Towers ever and drop a like on the video. So to see the complete evolution of Tilted, we need to go all the way back to where it first started. The 26th of September 2017, Fortnite Battle Royale was born. Places on the map, they were far and few between, but this piece of land was soon going to be home to a living legend. That's right, this area you're seeing on the map right now is extremely rare footage of the land before Tilted Towers was even thought of or even a thing in Fortnite. Just grassland. And that wasn't until January the 18th, 2018. Fortnite officially announced it was adding a brand new town to the game. So we've got a map update coming up with a bunch of new points of interest, including the oh, city. Oh, baby, here it is. The new Fortnite map has arrived. A whole new city, which you can see. No, but there is only one acceptable drop point for our very first round on the new Fortnite map. And that is going to be the new town of... I don't even know its name, Tilted Towers. Tilted was finally here. It was everyone's favorite drop spot. Huge buildings, tons of loot for battle and bragging rights if you came out of it alive. In the early days, it was home to some of the best gameplays Fortnite ever saw. But then all of a sudden, things took quite a quick turn. Towards the end of season three, a meteor appeared up in the sky and everybody thought, that's it, Tilted Towers is going to get hit. There was even an SOS message from the meteor suggesting Tilted Towers was the drop zone. But it ended up crash landing and hitting Dusty Depot. Tilted was fine though, although a few meteors ended up colliding with some of the buildings and one in particular came off worse than the rest. Yeah, this is where we start to follow the story of this unfortunate building in Tilted Towers. But then, all of a sudden, at the end of Season 4, Tilted was under threat again. You can see a pretty consistent pattern going on here, Tilted Towers being under threat. The visitor escaped from the meteor and ended up stealing the prop rocket from the villain's base. Only it ended up heading up in the sky, but then straight towards Tilted Towers. Yep, yeah, that was it. Tilted Towers was a officially going to be gone. Do it! 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 Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Tilted! Tilted Towers! But thankfully, the visitor ended up rifting the rocket away just in time before it hit Tilted Towers. Tilted was safe for another day. And yeah, that was until season five. A cube ended up spawning on the map and rolling around different name locations and everyone was certain that Tilted Towers was in danger again, and it was. The cube slowly approached Tilted Towers and remember that building that got hit by the meteor? It had finally been rebuilt, but then it got destroyed by the cube rolling into it. Yeah, that poor, poor building. <laughs> A few seasons later, just before the volcano actually ended up appearing on the map, Huge cracks started forming around Tilted and that one building again that they just built up again ended up collapsing because of the earthquake and cracks in the ground. The thing is, nothing really major happened to Tilted this time, but instead hinted at future events that were soon to come. That's right, the volcano finally erupted. It spewed tons of material up into the sky, the majority of it taking out Tilted Towers. It was done for this time. After all it had survived, it was now gone. Except that one building, okay, that had got destroyed during every other event, actually survived against all odds. But that was it. Everyone's favorite point of interest was now gone. The memories, the nostalgia, destroyed. There's even a clip here of a kid crying when Tilted Towers got destroyed. <laughs> During this event, Jonesy ended up hiding in a bunker and so much time had passed that when he came out, a new world had been born and a new Tilted Towers had been built. 
Neo Tilted. This point of interest was awesome. It was like futuristic version of Tilted Towers with a ton of technological advancements. It turns out this new city was actually being powered by harnessing the power of the Zero Point. Pretty cool. But this didn't last long though. Season X was here and this was the season of destabilization. Now shortly after the release of Season X, a massive beacon had appeared in the center of Neo Tilted. A huge portal then proceeded to open up in the sky and Neo Tilted had now become Tilted Town. A completely opposite look to Tilted Towers. Rather than going into the future with Neo Tilted, it ended up going in the past. Here it was, a wild western theme with no building. I, I guess it was a cool look on the original Tilted Towers if you ask me. September the 21st, 2019. Fortnite ended up collabing with Batman. It was huge and Tilted Towers ended up becoming Gotham City. This set was awesome. A dark, eerie feel and bats flying around everywhere. Tilted Towers had never looked so cool and badass. But again, this version of Tilted Towers unfortunately didn't last long whatsoever. Then came the end event, the end of chapter one, and yeah, that was bye bye Tilted Towers, sucked into a great big black hole and to never be seen again. Or was it? A new map, a new world, but yeah, no Tilted Towers. It wasn't until chapter two, season five, we saw Tilted Towers finally return, but this time it was called Salty Towers, a mix of both Tilted and Salty Springs. What was going on? The Zero Point ended up colliding worlds together and was left so unstable that it brought us this mess of a point of interest buried in sand. As much of a mess it was, it was an awesome mix of past favourite locations and it kind of gave me the feel of old Tilted vibes in a way, the way it played and how everyone would land there. All in all, it's a solid Tilted Towers remake. It was a really cool look at Tilted, and I know I definitely enjoyed playing on it. But with the zero point so unstable, it needed time to heal, and was ended up being protected by the Spire, which bought us the Primal Age and Bony Burbs. Ugh, a primal version of Tilted. But oh my god, did it look horrible. It was made out of old remains, bits of junk metal and wood, and it wasn't pleasing whatsoever to the eye. It was the worst version of Tilted I think we've ever seen. And then uh, Bony Burbs actually ended up staying with us right up until the end of chapter two. Wow, what a load of rubbish with no real changes. It just sat there being all boring. But now, here we are in chapter 3, a new map, fresh start, and what is that under the snow? It can't be. Tilted Towers is back and it's defrosting. It took a while, but we're finally there. I'm hoping this time this Tilted Towers is going to stay around for a while throughout chapter 3 because... I mean, it's everybody's favourite point of interest, am I right? Hopefully you guys went on, enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a like, check out one of my recent videos up on screen here, and I'll see you guys over there.